Excuse me, Joy. Please, I am not in the mood for your talk. What is the problem? I said I was not in the mood, so please give whatever it is to another person. I am not happy at all. I don't think I care about what you are about to say. Why not praise God instead of complaining? You will not understand. Things are not the way I expected them to be, and as I am talking to you now, I am very, very frustrated. Believers are enjoined to praise God at all times. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. This means we are not to wait until we feel happy or receive an answer to our prayers before we praise God. We should praise Him when we feel dry, discouraged, and depressed. Praise Him when your business appears dull and unpromising. Praise Him when your expectations are not forthcoming. And of course, praise Him when He blesses you too. In all things, give thanks. Saints of God through the ages have received victory, blessings, and power in praise. Melchizedek, King of Salem and Priest of the Most High God, blessed and praised God in His service. On their journey to the Promised Land, the children of Israel came before Jericho's wall. As they shouted and praised God, the wall crumbled. David, the great King of Israel and Psalmist, spent the greater part of his life singing and praising the Lord. Jehoshaphat and his people sang forth the honor of God's name. Psalm 66, verse 2 and he turned their enemies against themselves, and they were destroyed. Paul and Silas sang praises to God in the prison and the doors opened, their bands loosed, and they were delivered. The prayer of praise is the highest form of communion with God. We must praise God if we want our needs to be met, and the enemy discomfited. Praise changes circumstances and removes the greatest of mountains. The wall of Jericho fell at the shout of praise from the lips of redeemed Israel. The whole army was defeated when Jehoshaphat led Israel to praise the Lord. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 21. God's praise from Paul and Silas caused an earthquake, shook the foundation of the prison, opened all locked doors, and loosened the bands of the prisoners. Praising God will enable him to grant your heart's desire. What a great victory, success, and power we have in praise. Thank you, Jesus. A life of daily praise to God is an amazing experience for the believer. The psalmist said, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever, with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. To praise God is to express our heartfelt respect and gratitude to Him for His countless blessings and faithfulness towards us. We are commanded in the scripture to offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Hebrew 13 verse 15. As believers, we have a duty.